Hi, my name is Mark Poulton. I'm a real estate investor in the greater Charlotte, North Carolina area, which we'll call a no thrills, no frills real estate investor. If you're looking for somebody with a big fancy car, nice studio office, or someone who's trying to sell you a 1995 a month subscription to their newsletter about that guy, check out a different channel. So today I wanted to kind of go over, uh, actually just had to go to the bank for whatever reason. You know, business banking is a little bit different than uh, personal banking. The fees are obviously more hefty. Uh, you get charged for, gosh, we get charged for depositing cash, which uh, kind of drives me nuts. But not so much nuts that we're ready to switch over to another bank just yet. But I wanted to, um, anyways, they, they changed the way checks are um, showing in a pending status. Typically, a business bank, you can see relatively real time what's about to be processed. You know, all your debits and credits, it should show in a pending status. And then from there, at night, you know, most banks will uh, tally up all your credits and then to have tally up all your debits and, you know, give you, a, you know, reconcile your, your account at, at the end of the night. Uh, my bank has not been showing checks for the last 30 days. And I got hit by one last night. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to keep track of my own checks. And I don't even keep track of checks in my personal life. So it's a little more difficult for me to do that in my business life. Should probably do that more. Need to uh, need to find better vendors that can take, uh, you know, something else that doesn't require a check. Anyways, I want to talk about how to collect rent or how we collect rent. Um, I've seen a lot of people who use Venmo. Uh, Venmo is an online. I think it's owned by PayPal. Uh, they actually won't allow me to open an account because, well, drama. But I've seen a lot of people posting that. Venmo has really changed their business where, um, you know, you're able to take credit cards, but the person paying the, uh, paying you the money pays the fee. And I can see that as a very, very powerful way of, uh, of collecting rent, especially in the demographic I'm in where, uh, people can be, you know, five, 10, 20 days late. Uh, they could probably put on a credit card if they have one. Not everyone that we rent to has credit cards, uh, for good reason. They're really bad with money, but you know it's definitely an arsenal in your pocket. Personally, we um, we use SunTrust Bank. Don't really like them, but I don't hate them enough to uh, to switch. I'm looking for a better solution, but so far, it's <clears throat> they don't even use deposit slips anymore. Years ago, I went in and I got deposit slip out of the um, you know out of the bank, and what I did is I scanned it in. And what I do is at the very bottom of the deposit slip, I put, I fill in everything. So the account number is filled in, pre-filled in. Uh, the name of the business is pre-filled in. And then at the bottom, it shows it has the property address. So when I go into my bank and I see a deposit for $1,000, I just look at the deposit slip. I automatically know how to classify that deposit. Now, we also put in our lease that uh, if I have to, if you don't put that on there, I can charge you 25 bucks. I don't usually do that. I mean, if you're a big pain in the butt, I can usually tell by how much it is, which property it goes to. But if you have 100 properties or 1,000 properties, that's just not going to work. Obviously, this methodology isn't going to work either. Uh, it's just not, one, SunTrust isn't a regional, it's a regional bank. They're actually uh, just announced a merger with bb &T to make them a pseudo national bank. But if you were national and you weren't, um, you weren't, we don't actually take checks. If you send me a check, I'm going to charge you 25 bucks to go to the bank and deposit it. So don't send me the check. I don't want to be involved in that. We empower our, uh, our tenants to, uh, you know, do it themselves. They can email it in or email it. They can mail it in. Some people just, um, you know, send it to, uh, Send it to an address, you know, using online bill pay or something like that. They just got to figure out how many days ahead of time to make it happen. It will work with you for a couple of months to, to figure that out. Uh, a lot of people just love to go to the bank. We have one uh, tenant who you know, banks with SunTrust Bank, and he just goes there, writes a check, um, you know, has a deposit slip that had, that's already pre-filled out. Literally, he just has to put the amount and the date, hand it to him, and it's done. And we do this for every property. Uh, I put above the stove in the little tiny cabinet, there's an envelope taped to the inside door of the cabinet. It says deposit slips. And I put in 
40 or 50 of them. Not a big deal. If you need more, hey, that's fine. Uh, it does turn into a pain in the butt, I guess, when they don't put it on there and say it's 850 and I get another person at 850. It, um, you know, it can be, you know, then I got to look further. You know, if it's a check, obviously it's going to have the person's name on it. Um, if it's a money order, it should have the person's name on it. But if it's cash, I don't know. We have some uh, immigrants from, I think, El Salvador and another one from Honduras. And they, um, they, they deposit cash, uh, which cash is good. But I get charged for cash uh, if it's over like $5,000 a month, which, man, I hope it's over $5,000 a month. But anyways, having little deposit slips that, like I said, that you scan in and you can actually pre-fill in some information. For the most part, the tellers don't care. I've had one or two tenants tell me that the tellers won't take it. But one of the good things about doing it this way is uh, you can train your tenants that they can go at night. And since it's a business account, they can they have to bring their own envelope. But they can put a check. They can put the uh, deposit slip inside an envelope and put it inside the night deposit box. And so even if they get off at midnight, they can still pay their rent. They just need, a, they need an envelope and, and the deposit slip. I do not suggest night deposits, deposits with cash. We had, the, um, we had one cust or one tenant do that. And it didn't, it, it was just, it was just a mess. Just, just a mess. So anyways, this is kind of how we do uh, rent collection. We try to empower the tenant. I want to stay as much out of this process as possible. And in 12 properties, this actually works. I suspect it'll probably work up to 40 or 50. But over that, I think we're going to have to probably go with a uh, more professional collection system. Anyways, what are your thoughts? How do you collect rent? What do you think is a good way to collect rent? What do you think of the way that I collect rent? Leave your comments in the section below. Uh, I hope you go out there and live the you. Uh, I hope you go out there and live the you won't stop me lifestyle. I can tell you this: you won't stop me. Doesn't matter. I've, I got the knowledge now. You can take it all away. I'll get it all right back. I wish you success.